Live from Eagle Lady HD, fans filing into Raymond James Stadium as the Buccaneers are back on Monday night football, taking on a Tom Brady foe of sorts, the New York Giants, on a relatively cool night here in Tampa Bay. Hey there, everybody. JB Buno here with you live on Bucks Bonus, powered by 1-800-ASK-GARY. Let's get right over to, on the sidelines, WFLA Sports' Dan Lucas joining us from inside Raymond James Stadium. Hey there, Dan. We're looking here at Eagle 8 HD. Down on you on the field there at Raymond James Stadium, but most importantly tonight for the Buccaneers, it's going to be who's suiting up. I know you have some injury news to pass along. Yeah, JB, it's, it's pretty good news for the Bucs tonight. Now, the official inactives are not out yet. They're going to come out just before the top of the hour. Uh, we expect to see Rob Gronkowski active. That's what we're expecting to see. But until, that's, uh, until that list is out, that's not official. A couple of moves that were made this afternoon. Uh, Brashad Perriman, wide receiver, uh, was promoted from the practice squad. So we're going to see him tonight. That was expected because Antonio Brown is obviously not ready to go. And Sean Murphy Bunting, cornerback, active, put on the active roster uh, from injured reserve. So that's the first step. Now they got to decide if he's going to play in this game. And we just saw him out here a short while ago. He has a, a full sleeve on his right arm, the, the uh, dislocated elbow injury arm. And uh, he's running around catching footballs. I bet he plays uh, tonight because he's been in tremendous shape. And so I think he's ready to go. Also, D. Delaney, another cornerback who was in the concussion protocol, has cleared that protocol. So now he's eligible to come back. So things are looking good for the Bucks. What we want to see is Rob Gronkowski take the field tonight, but not before it's too soon. If you remember a few weeks ago in New Orleans, he came back from the ribs and the uh, punctured lung. It was too soon. He wasn't ready to go. He was too sore and ended up aggravating his back in the process, and that's what cost him missing another game. So Rob Gronkowski, who this week at practice said had a couple of good days. We'll see what happens. I think he's trending towards playing tonight against the Giants, JB. Good news for Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, even though Brady still has a lot of offensive weapons. Let's talk, Dan, about Tom Brady. Uh, go, of course, going up against, as we said, somewhat of a familiar foe in the New York Giants tonight. Is there any extra motivation, in your opinion, and Karen's opinion, who we just saw on WFLA News Channel 8, any extra motivation for Tom Brady, or is it business as usual on primetime, <laughs> a nationally televised game at Raymond James Stadium? Well, it's ironic that it's Brady against the Giants under the lights because, you know, two of his biggest losses uh, in those Super Bowls to Eli Manning's uh, New York Giants. Now he's taking on Daniel Jones's New York Giants. And I think as a team, you know, the Bucks have played the Giants four years in a row. The schedule formula, they put these things out. It's never intentional. It's a formula and has put the Bucks and the Giants face to face. This is the fifth straight year they're going to play. So they're two and two in those previous four. But I got to scratch the first two out because that that wasn't the uh, the, the uh, Tom Brady time. Tom Brady was started last year. So this is his second meeting against the Giants uh, facing off against Daniel Jones. Daniel Daniel Jones has played the Bucks twice, beat them here in Raymond James Stadium in his debut. And last year led the Giants on a fourth quarter drive. They gave the Giants a chance to tie the game. Remember, there's a controversial two point conversion play that the, the Giants did not convert. Uh, Antoine Winfield, Giants fans thought he interfered with the uh, receiver. The officials decided to pick up the flag. The Bucks won the game by two points. So there's motivation for the Giants on that side. I think the motivation for the Bucks tonight is to simply play a clean football game. They have played sloppy in back-to-back -back games, both losses at New Orleans, at Washington. Penalties, mistakes, Tom Brady overthrows. One of the interceptions last week, a simple overthrow by Brady. No one was immune, and that's what the Bucs want to clean up tonight against the Giants. If they do that, they should win this game. They're favored pretty big in this game. So that's what should happen. They were favored big against Washington. They couldn't pull off that game. Another thing, the Giants offense is going to get Saquon Barkley back tonight. The running game improving, and we know the Bucs are very good against the run, but they're going to be without Vita Vea, the big run stopper in the middle. So that's an interesting matchup. The Bucs defense versus the Giants run game, which is pretty good when Saquon Barkley's in there. And Daniel Jones is also a good runner himself. He's one of the best in the league as a running quarterback. So that's the biggest challenge for the Bucs, I think, tonight. Get off the field 
the uh, Washington football team, JB, last week had 19 third downs. 19. They converted 11 of them. And two of, that they didn't convert, they went for it on fourth down and converted. So that's uh, 13 times the Bucks defense had a chance to get off the field, couldn't do it. They got to improve that tonight if they're going to have a chance to win this game. Yeah, you, a lot of folks thought that they were going to beat up on Washington. We saw what happened in that game. It, hard to believe that the last time the Buccaneers won nearly a month ago, back uh, back on October 24th of, of last month. Dan Lucas joining us here, everybody, on WFLA Sports on Bucks Bonus, powered by 1-800-ASK-GARY. Hey, Dan, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll close out with some score predictions here. We're going to ask our Facebook fans, you can use hashtag HeyDan. Hashtag HeyJB. We want to hear from you. Any key players that you're watching for tonight, let us know using one of those hashtags in the comment section. Or, of course, if you have a score prediction. Dan, uh, before we get to your prediction, really quickly, there are a lot of Giants and Jets fans, but a lot of Giants fans here in the Tampa Bay area. I've seen some commenters on the WFLA Facebook page light up with Giants blue. Uh, what are you expecting tonight as far as the split in the crowd between Bucks red and Giants blue inside Raymond James Stadium tonight? Well, I'll go back to the opening night game against the Dallas Cowboys, the Bucks' big night. They uh, unveiled their uh, their sign, winning Super Bowl 55, and uh, you know that was under the lights, prime time, and there were a ton of Cowboys fans here. If you're a fan of these teams, you're going to get your hands on the tickets. I expect a lot of Giants fans to be here tonight, and I'll tell you, two years ago, you know, the circumstances were different two years ago. Uh, the Giants came here. And when Daniel Jones rushed up the middle for what proved to be the winning touchdown, this sounded like a Giants home game in here. So, yeah, they're going to have a lot of Giants fans in here tonight, but the place is going to be full. Remember, we weren't dealing with sellouts a couple of years ago. It's going to be sold out, so the Bucks fans are going to be uh, plenty loud as well. But when the Giants do something, they're going to hear. They're going to hear the fans tonight. Uh, so they're all, they live here. We love having you here, and uh, they're going to be supporting their team for sure. Michelle Johnson uh, with one of the first comments, hashtag JB, go Giants, go Big Blue. So there is some New York Giants love in our comment section. Dan, before we let you go, we know you got a lot to do inside Raymond James Stadium, giving us all that inside access to the Buccaneers here on Bucks Bonus. Before we let you go, uh, give us uh, something you're watching for tonight. Again, the Bucks trying to get back on track, don't want to make it three losses in a row, especially against the opponent that so fully favored against the New York Giants coming into Tampa tonight. Give us something that you're going to be watching out for tonight. Uh, and of course, we'll see it tonight on WFLA News Channel 8 at 11 o'clock. Well, it sounds easy. It sounds obvious, right? I'm going to watch Tom Brady uh, because Tom Brady, I think last week kind of looked human. He, he uh, passed up on some deep balls, uh, a couple of situations where you saw you know, the, sec the number two guy down the field. He's looking for Mike Evans, who's drawing double coverage. Chris Godwin's available. There were times when Cam Brate was available. Uh, he's passing up on those and, and dumping it off to his running backs. He doesn't have Antonio Brown back tonight. That's He's missing Antonio Brown, by the way, as the third receiver, because that just opens up everything for everybody. But if he gets Gronkowski back on the field, that's going to be a tremendous help. That's a very comforting thing for him to see his buddy, number 87, on the field, and he can dump it off to him uh, or, or, and also pass blocking. That's one of Gronk's specialties. So that automatically improves this Bucks offense. I'm watching Tom Brady to not turn the ball over. If they do that and they, ha they have a pretty good uh, record at home with not turning it over, they're going to be over 30 points. And so that's what the Bucks need to do to win this game tonight. Tom Brady in the offense, and then as I mentioned before, stop the Giants run game, and I think the Bucks win this tonight. Dan Lucas, everybody give him a follow at WFLA Dan on social media. Dan, we'll let you get to this. To, yeah, you have a pretty good seat in Raymond James Stadium. Thanks so much, as always, for joining us here on Bucks Bonus. Beautiful shot here live, everybody, from look at it full screen. Yeah, Buccaneers getting ready to hopefully fire the cannons tonight. But the weather might be a little bit cooler than what you would expect normally. At least over the course of today, it felt pretty warm outside. And for that, of course, we bring in Max Defender 8 meteorologist Rebecca Barry. Rebecca, first and foremost, love that you're wearing Buccaneer Red there on the right side of the screen. Thanks, as always, for uh, joining us here on stream. Uh, let, let, first and foremost, let me just show you this. This was from Eagle 8 HD. Look at this in the center of your screen. I tweeted this out. I saw you retweeted this. I did. A beautiful sunset, but a cold front 
is arriving tonight. I know the Max Defender 8, the team's been all over it tonight on WFLA News Channel. A little bit cooler than what Dan is experiencing right now is what we're going to be getting at kickoff tonight. I was worried about all the Bucks fans that might head out there early, like right now, and experience the pretty typical conditions, you know, low 70s, mid 70s, getting into the upper 60s after sunset. And that's what we're used to. But unfortunately, colder, drier air is moving in tonight, and that's really going to chill us down, especially once the skies start to clear out. And so the first half of the game might be considered typical. The wild card there is the wind because it's been pretty breezy today. I'm surprised you can't see some shaking on that camera there because we've seen winds upwards of 10 to 15 miles per hour, and that's adding a certain wind chill there as well. And so here's a look at Max Defender 8 right now. You can see that cold front pushing through, then that swath of cloud cover. Right behind that swath of cloud cover that we're that's pushing through our area right now is the much colder air. And we are talking about temperatures dipping down into the chilly 50s overnight tonight. And so here's a look at how things are shaping up currently. We're sitting right at 71. It's so deceptive, the fact that we're going to be in the 50s within a couple of hours. And so temperatures are a little bit chillier already. I call it our chilly zone, Citrus, Hernando, and Pasco counties. They seem to run a few degrees cooler than everyone else, and that's certainly the case tonight. We're seeing some mid-60s in Crystal River already in Inverness and upper 60s in Brooksville, Zephyr Hills, and Newport Ritchie. We're still in the low 70s in Tampa and St. Pete. And of course, if you're headed to the game right now, that's what you're experiencing. The winds have gotten down into that 10 mile per hour range, so that's good news. But especially once those clouds clear, we could see the wind picking back up late tonight. So if you're sitting in the upper deck of the stadium or if you're up there visiting the Buccaneers, that ship, it does look like it'll be a little on the breezy side as well. So it's 67 at kickoff, but dipping down into the 50s very, very quickly. We're making it down into the mid-50s in Tampa overnight tonight and then even colder weather for tomorrow. So luckily this game isn't tomorrow night because we'd be dealing with 40s by the time the game time wrapped up. I was going to say, because there are some folks watching us right now in New York or in Detroit or in Chicago with some of these towns are thinking uh, cold fronts coming in was it going to be in the in the 30s or 40s down there in Tampa no we're we're touching we're touching the 60s tonight uh but clearly uh not not bad for for tonight as far as football weather it's still going to be great weather for football tonight it's certainly traditional football weather uh just for perspective it's the chilliest weather we've seen this season so far so that that jars you a little bit and is it jacket weather is it jacket weather oh yeah you think yeah. so? Well, I'm a huge wimp, so like I brought a jacket <laughs> right. in with me, even though it was 75 when I left the car and came inside. I'm like, I'm gonna need this tonight. Yeah, so. it's it certainly, it's it certainly, we, you get it really soft as far as uh, coming down here to so spoiled. Yeah, we do. We get very, very, very spoiled. Uh, any predictions on the game tonight? Uh, oh, while you're on Bucks bonus, it. you gotta give us some. Some Rebecca Barry insight, uh, some sports knowledge on uh, on what you think I is going to happen tonight. I think we beat them between 15 and 17, point, 17 points. 15 and 17 points. That's, that's right. how much we're going to clear them. I like it. I like it. Okay, Rebecca Barry, everybody, you'll see her tonight on WFLA News Channel 8. Of course, the Max Fender 8 weather team always keeping you posted on everything when it comes to, you know, forecasts for heading over to Raymond James Stadium for the Bucks, or if you're making that walk over to Emily Arena for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Great to always have Rebecca here on stream. Uh, back here with you, everybody, on Bucks Bonus, powered by 1-800-ASK-GARY. We're going to be, of course, keeping a very close eye on your Tampa Bay Buccaneers tonight. No Richard Sherman tonight. Uh, he's on the IR. He's on injured reserve. Uh, he re-aggravated an injury, so he's going to be uh, off the table tonight. But great news that we potentially, potentially have Rob Gronkowski and Sean Murphy bunting back in the lineup tonight. But Gronk isn't officially a go yet. For more on that, follow WFLA Dan on Twitter, on social media. I'll have the latest for you. We're going to be watching Monday Night Football, Bucks, Giants. Can't wait. And, of course, for all your coverage, go to WFLA.com, the WFLA app for everything Buccaneers. And be sure to watch tonight on WFLA News Channel 8. Folks, we'll see you soon next time on Bucks Bonus, powered by 1-800-ASK-GARY.